Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I just got back from my most recent Bass Pro Tour event and had a really bad drive home. I got home safe, everything was fine from that standpoint, but I kind of went through a little bit of everything. Uh, I had a bunch of bad rain down south. I got a flat tire on the trailer on the way back. Uh, once I got up to north of Chicago, I had an ice storm that turned into snow. It took a lot longer than I really wanted to. Uh, and I also got to tell you that I ended up having pretty bald tires that I was driving on. And that's partly because of these guys right here behind me. These are new tires that got sent to me by General Tire. Uh, just want to give them a quick little shout out in that they uh, send each of the Bass Pro Tour anglers a free set of tires so i'm very very appreciative and the thing is i was waiting to get these tires before i went ahead and changed my tires because i knew i needed new tires so to have the ice and the snow and all that rain down south was one of those things that just made the trip that much more stressful so i'm very very appreciative of general tire sending those because when i got home they were waiting right here by the house for me so i just loaded them up uh, and I'm gonna go put them on the truck. I do also want to point out, you, you know, you probably can't even see the fifth one back here, but this, this one right there is my trailer tire. I'm going to get that one repaired. Uh, it was a straight puncture hole right in the middle of the tire itself. So it should be a pretty easy fix in terms of just patching it. So I've got that as well. I'm going to my local tire uh, shop, Auto Select here in Stevens Point. They're gonna do the repair work for me, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tip. Once I get these back, I'm gonna show you a tip for putting the trailer tire onto the trailer. Uh, Cause right now I've got the spare that's on the trailer. I'm gonna put that one onto the spare spot because honestly, I've only had one trip with these. It's not like I've put that many miles on. You know, as a, uh, as a full-time truck driver, part-time angler, as I like to joke around with, I probably generally put close to 50,000 miles on my truck each year. So by the end of the year, I've generally gone through a full set of tires on the trailer, a full set of tires on the truck. And that was one cool thing about getting a free set. Never had that before. So as James Watson likes to say, everything's free when you're a, a full-time angler. Definitely not true, but occasionally you do get a pretty cool perk like that. Uh, and I'm going to put that tire back onto my trailer as the spare just because the other trailer tires are all brand new as is so it's not like they're really worn down differently anyways but i'm gonna go get these repaired when i get back i'm gonna give you a nice little tip for putting your trailer tire back on the boat trailer all right we just got back we got new shoes for the truck our general tire tires are looking good we got some great traction a lot better than what I had on the drive up here, I can tell you that. And we got our Skeeter trailer tire fixed and repaired. We got the hole repaired. I don't know if we'll find it here. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. So we got a plug that went in right here. Should be good to go on that. Uh, so we're gonna put that up here under the trailer. Now, I gotta tell you, what I want to do here is I'm going to use my DuraSafe spare tire lock. This is keyed the exact same way as the other locks that I've got on the boat, on the trailer, my DuraSafe e-locks, everything. So I'm going to be one key that works on this with all the other locks. I'm going to show you how to install the DuraSafe spare tire lock. And this will keep anybody from stealing your spare tire. Okay, so I've got my tire mounted on top of the trailer. Now to secure it, I'm gonna use my J-hook pin, go through the trailer, up through the tire. Where are you, buddy? Okay, and then I'm gonna take a couple of the spacers and apply the spacers on top. And then the locking mechanism is basically a, a lug nut replacement. So I'm gonna take this you can see it's threaded. I'm just going to screw that onto the top of this. So I'll get it started. Then I'm going to take my socket wrench, just finish her off. You screw that so that it's tight. And then that's actually what the lock will be able to hold onto. Almost. 
Prost. Okay. All right, so you can see we've got the locking mechanism here. Now I'm gonna take the actual lock, the top part, just pop it right down over the top, unlock it, pull the key out, put the cover on. Now I've got a lock on my spare tire so nobody can steal that. Well, there you have it. We had a good day for the tires in the Stefan household. Got new tires on the car, thanks to General Tire. We got our trailer tire spare re, uh, repaired. I had a hole in it, we got that fixed, and then we mounted it on the Skeeter trailer and we locked it into place using the DuraSafe spare tire lock that's keyed just the same as all my other DuraSafe locks. If you wanna check those out, I'll put the website link for DuraSafe. You can go there, get all the locks for everything you could ever imagine. Otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned, we'll have a new video coming tomorrow.